Hello, today I'd like to show you how you could put some hexagons and triangles together by machine. Um, so I'm using quite a large sized hexagon and uh, I think the sides are probably just a bit over three inches. Uh, I haven't measured them exactly and I've got some triangles. Now the triangles that I'm using are actually one sixth of a hexagon. So if you were to sew six of these together, which you're not going to see very well because I've got them all dark, but if you show, sewed all six together, you would end up with a hexagon. So it's that size triangle that fits in between the hexagon. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to actually show you on a quilt that I've done, and I have actually done a pattern for this quilt, and I've called it those charming hexagons, because I've done it in a charming manner, which means that a charm quilt, traditionally, as I understand it, is a quilt where all the fabrics used are different. So strictly speaking, I have used a background fabric, but all my hexagons are different fabrics within my quilt. So that's where the charming bit came from. And on the on my pattern, um, there's another page that comes with a pattern that's got the uh, shapes that are, of the size that I've used in my quilt. And so you can see I've got a, a hexagon here, I've got the triangle with the little corners lopped off, which just makes it easier for placing and piecing. And then the template for, for the half hexagon, which I'll show you a little bit more about shortly. So I've got my triangles, I've got my hexagons. So I'm just going to, to be able to put these hexagons together by machine, you don't have to do all these difficult corners when you've got these triangles. I'm going to place a corner on one end and I'm going to do my quarter inch seam just along the, the side there. And because of the way the, the shape has had its corners locked off, that's going to sit really nicely on the edge there. So just my normal quarter inch seam coming along the side here. I might do a second one while I'm here. So place your triangle along so that the edges match, the corners match and just the quarter inch seam. So now I've got a, a very pointy little hexagon there. Um, and now I'm going to put one on the opposite side. So straight opposite that one, I'm going to place another triangle and sew that in place. And what this allows you to do, it, it, what it ends up creating is a bit of a diamond shape. And it allows you to sew them together in rows. So it's all sort of easy straight line sewing. There's none of these difficult corners that you have to manage. Hexagons often have traditionally been pieced with the English paper piecing method, which um, is a hand sewing method. Or you can do them by machine and you've got difficult corners, but if you pop these triangles in between, which I quite like because it sets the colours off, um, I'm just going to press these seams out towards that darker triangle. Um, I just find that this is a relatively quick and easy way and I am a little bit impatient at times. So this works for me. So now I've got my diamond. So these are quite exciting, these diamonds, because what you can now do with them, well there's probably lots of things you could do with them, but what I'm going to do with them is put them together in rows. You see how they just sit snugly together and that one will just join there, it just sits nicely and it will just join, your points will all be nice and we can have another row down here and this is a very dark one, this is a dark purple, it's quite delicious. So you can see that you can now make rows and rows and rows of hexagons with triangles and that works really well. Now down the edges, I'll just quickly show you what I've done down the edges. Um, I've got some more triangles here and to create my edge I would sew another triangle on there so you'd get that piece would have two triangles at one end and one at the other end and I would do the same on so on all the end ones this this works you put another one so all the ones that are at each end get this kind of treatment and then this little space in here because we could actually trim away down a line there so that little space in there there's room there for half a hexagon 
So I've got some half a hexagons cut here and this shape is on my pattern and just be aware if you're cutting them out without um, the templates and things that it's not strictly a half because you've got to allow a seam allowance. So if you were to cut or fold your hexagon in half to get your half size your seam would normally come down there so you need to add on when you cut out your half a hexagon you need to add on your seam allowance so you've got to add on your quarter inch so that it's the right size so that when you've added all those in it's the right size for you to then trim that edge straight there if you're trying to put a straight border or straight edge onto your quilt so just be aware it's it is half but it's half plus a seam allowance um, so that was really just a, a little idea just to to show you how you can do uh, some of these potentially difficult shapes by machine. Triangles and hexagons can be so much fun, where sometimes they've been considered to be not quite so much fun. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the quilt that I've made, um, that I've shown in that pattern. And as you can see, all these hexagons are a different colour. And uh, quite, quite charming and delicious, I must say. And I've just found that to be uh, such a good method and I thought maybe it would help somebody else out there.